Hey everybody, Teldo here, and today I'll be talking about a fairly simple PvP combo which allows you to take a good chunk of your opponent's HP. It involves animation cancelling and a bunch of stuns comboed together. Um, there are some combos with, uh, which allow you to take 100% of your opponent's HP, basically, which are infinite, um, but those combos are a little bit harder to pull off. So I recommend starting to learn with an easier combo like this, because you can learn your animation cancelling, you can learn the timings and all that to get used to it and then later on you can transition into the more difficult combos. So let's have a look at which talents we need to pull this off. So first of all, you definitely need 4 points in hard step. It's your right click, it's your main source of damage, and you need 4 points so you can actually do the animation cancelling, which is very important. Um, it allows you to cast instantly on stunned enemies or on enemies with 5 stacks of poison. It isn't that important here though. So that's something that you definitely need. Another thing that you need for sure is 3 points in Venom Swarm, which turns your poison into a slow traveling projectile. It's important so you can apply the poison to your enemy while they are webbed and um, you need that poison later on to restealth and prolong your combo. Another very important ability, which is a core part of this, is Close Shave. It allows you to jump around the neck of your enemy, it's a little bit of an animation, and um, it just prolongs your stun animation for a lot longer and allows you to get back some cooldowns to just keep it going. And of course you also need Webbing, which is your tab ability. It allows you to web your enemy in the air when they are knocked up. Um, and with uh, some timing and some practice, you can web them right before they hit the ground, so you can just keep comboing them, which I will explain just in a little bit. And finally, another thing that's very important is smokescreen. Um, you, instead of your shuriken, you lay down a smokescreen and it regenerates some chi, which is important to just keep dashing, uh, keep, keep pushing out the damage over and over again. Um, so those are the core abilities that you need. There's a bunch of other abilities which are pretty important for PvP, but I'm not going to go over them right now. I just want to show you what you need to really pull this combo off. So let's talk about how the animation cancel works. It's pretty straightforward, but it's your primary source of damage in the PvP combo. So you should practice it on PvE mobs if you don't have the hang of it yet. You can do that by equipping a low level weapon and then attacking mobs, putting five stacks of poison on them with your poison breath. And then you just use your LB, RB, LB, RB, LB, RB after each other. And that's pretty much the animation cancel. It's very straightforward. You just have to find the right rhythm for yourself because it's different for everybody with latency. It also also helps if you have trouble with the left click right click you can use your R instead of right click so you can do R right click R right click over and over again if that helps definitely helps for me and um, yeah it takes some time to get used to it and latency is definitely a big deal for it but um, try to figure it out for yourself practice it and then you can move on to the next step afterwards so let's talk about how the actual stun combo works, and you can practice that in PvE again if you feel like it, I encourage you to do so. The first thing that you want to do, you want to tap switch your opponent, that will lock him in place for a second, and then you can use your one ability to immediately stealth on him. Once you've done that, you can use your left click to stun them, and from there on, you can use your LB RB combo like we practiced before to deal a little bit of damage. You can get two to three of them in there before you have to do the next step. So here I only do two, and then I knock come into the air and when your opponent is in the air your left click turns into an air combo and you want to do that once it prolongs the cc animation for a little bit longer and then once it's done you want to spam your four ability as fast as possible it will put poison on your opponent and from there on you want to web your opponent but you need the right timing for this because if you do it too early, he's going to be stuck in the air and you can't do your combo anymore. If you do it too late, he can just roll out of it if it's a PvP enemy. So what you want to do, um, you want to wait until your opponent is barely back in the screen again. Um, maybe like halfway back on the ground again, you'll have to figure out the timing yourself. And um, you have to, you see like he's not even close to the ground yet, but I press tap here and he will basically just teleport to the ground immediately. and. He CC'd there for a second. What you do then, you drop your X ability to regenerate a little bit of extra chi. You also drop your flower. And um, alternatively, um, if you don't want to use your poison while the enemy's in the air, you can also use your poison right now, whatever works better for you. And then you use your shadow dash to get back into stealth. And since your left click is on cooldown, you use your four ability to stun your opponent here. And you do a bunch of your animation cancels again. And then you use your F ability to prolong the stun. 
And after this, you have to be very careful because um, sometimes enemies can break free here if you have bad latency or whatever goes wrong. So spam your tap as fast as you can and then spam your left click immediately because it's back off cooldown to stun him again. And then put in a bunch of those animation cancels again, use your close shave again, and that's basically where the combo ends. It deals a pretty good amount of damage and afterwards, something that you can do, you can either use your um, true ability to use your right click after to finish your opponent off and deal a bunch of damage because he has a bunch of stack po poison stacks on him. It's like an execute that deals extra damage when they have poison on them. Or you can use, like I do here, the double S to jump back and stealth again. And then what you can do, you can use your X on your opponent and when you have it skilled, you can run on range, you can put down your flower again when it's back up, and then you can jump back with your X and just immediately knock him back into the air again. And oftentimes you can just get another combo like this if they don't have any escape. And here we go, I web him again, I drop my poison or my smoke, and I can just finish him off. So here I'll give you the chance to just look at the combo in full speed again and then afterwards in slow motion as well. And I will also say here um, once again there are some combos that are a little bit harder and combos that allow you to deal damage infinitely and keep someone locked down infinitely. Um, and those combos are very powerful but they're a lot harder to do and I will cover them in future videos but they're um, not necessary against every enemy because this combo here is really simple and um, very reliable as well. There aren't, isn't too much that can go wrong here. And with the other combos that are longer, your enemy might get the time during the combo to just get their tab ability back up again to get out of the CC anyway, right? So this is just perfect to practice it in the start and then later on we'll see how things will go on. So I really hope that the video was useful to you and um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you have any requests for future content. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye bye!